My name is Jackie Wyatt. This is my son, Derek Wyatt. I'm the mother of Jessica Wyatt, who died at the age of 19 years old in a car accident directly related to texting and driving. On Monday, December 28th, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I received a phone call from my daughter, and she requested me to meet her in Clarksville so we could go shopping together. It's something that we love to do together. And so we were in there for about, I guess about an hour and 15 minutes. And she went on her way. She was going to Nashville to see her cousins who were in from California visiting their mother for the Christmas holiday. And so she got on to um, Interstate 24 and headed toward Nashville. I um, received a text message from her at 710. It said, thank you, mother, I love you. Um, at 719, she was near exit 31 on Interstate 24. At that time, at 719, she received, had received several text messages on her cell phone, but at 719, it appears she picked it up to look at it, and at that same time, a transfer truck changed lanes from the right lane into the center lane, and she just ran right up under him. And it um, appears that she died instantly, or pretty near instantly. Even though they weren't going advanced speeds, um, she was driving a, a little Toyota Corolla, and there just wasn't much chance there. And um, I came home, and my husband was here. I told him about my time with Jessica and that she was going on to, to Nashville to see her cousins. And I think about 10.30 that night, there's a knocking at our door. He got up and went to the door, and I was close behind him, our sheriff, Derek Wyatt, and um, a city policeman and a state trooper um, Arthur Williams. Um, all three stood at my door and I remember looking at them and knowing something terrible had happened. I didn't know what. I remember Derek saying that he had terrible news to share with us and that our daughter had lost her life. She was the person that I feel held us together. Yes, she uh, was. She was the glue for, for all of us. Her headstone reads that she would walk in the room and that smile would light up that room. And that was so true. And her laugh was so boisterous and lighthearted. And it was infectious. Just hearing her laugh, other people would laugh. She was everything to us. She was our only daughter and she was our baby. When something like this happens to a family, what I don't think that people realize is that you don't only lose that child, you lose so much of your future. You lose the grandchildren that would be born one day. You lose, her father lost the opportunity to walk his daughter down the aisle. You lose so much of your future and future generations. And if someone was to ask me how it had changed our family, I think that it's changed us all in different ways. Um, some of us, um, some of us have become more depressed. Some of us have experienced bitterness and anger and some of us have um, loved more and learned to appreciate relationships and trust and family more than we ever did. And um, I think that's why right now we have the opportunity to share this message. That's why we want to do that. Um, because if we can prevent it from happening to another family, that's what we want to do because it's a tragedy. If you're a parent that texts and drives, your child will text and drive. You can't tell a child not to text and drive if you text and drive. I would say 
that you start teaching them not to text and drive when they're toddlers and small children. My daughter had so much energy about her, she just thought she was invincible. I just wish that it, we as a family had that opportunity back. You know, that that decision that day when she reached down to read that text message, if she just only hadn't reached down to read that text message. I would say to people across the state of Tennessee today that you have a choice. And until your life is impacted by a tragedy like this, um, you take for granted everything that we do. And I would say to you now, don't be someone who has to bury a child. Don't be someone who has to bury a loved one. Don't be someone that's texting a friend that causes that person to run off the road. Make that choice. Stay alive. Stay beautiful. Your life is ahead of you. You have so much ahead of you.